1959 was a turning point for the sport with the introduction of the artificial ice rink. The Ulevi Stadium was built for the World Football Championships, but in order to continue using the facility, an athletics track was built with a steel tube, which in winter could provide the water for a 400-meter artificial ice rink. The 1960 Olympic Winter Games in Squaw Valley furthered the popularity of the artificial rink and established a new approach to the sport that developed through the decade. The 1960 Olympics also included ladies' speed skating for the first time. The Netherlands once again rose to the top with Ard Schenk and Keys for Kerk, winning four world titles between them and multiple Olympic medals. The 1968 World Ladies' Championship was swept by Dutch skaters, Steen Kaiser, Anne Schutt, and Carolina Geissen. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, two key technical developments took place. Sprint skating as a specialty became more fashionable, leading to the first ISU World Sprint Championships for men and ladies in 1972. And Japanese skater Masayuki Kawahara kept his arms on his back in all his races, introducing the concept of aerodynamics. Up until 1974, the standard uniform was sweaters and woolen caps. Franz Kreenbuhl from Switzerland consulted with a swimsuit manufacturer and devised a new skating suit. His paper-thin aerodynamic suit with an attached hood was soon to be ubiquitous in the skating world. In addition, Kreenbuhl created an adjustable skate which allowed the athlete to conform the skate, blade and shoe according to his or her own preference. Eric Haydn dominated the international scene leading up to the 1980 Games in Lake Placid, becoming the first person to win five individual gold medals during one Olympics. The Haydn era brought the sport to new heights. East Germany dominated the 1980s ladies' speed skating with stars like Gunda Niemann Stjernemann and Karin Kanya. However, Dutch skater Yvonne van Gennep broke the streak with three Olympic titles at the 1988 Calgary Games. Introduced in 1985, the World Cup has continued to gain status and prestige and provided the opportunity to bring new momentum to speed skating. The concept was designed to make skating more attractive to athletes, spectators, federations and media. The World Cup is a series of international races including the distances of 500 meters, 1,000 meters, 1,500 meters for both ladies and men, and long distances of 3,000 meters and 5,000 meters for ladies, and 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters for men, with four winners being declared for both ladies and men based on the points earned in each distance. An unforgettable moment in speed skating was the first Indoor World All-Round Championships in Hirenveen in 1987. From then on, long track speed skating has been an indoor sport. The 1990s brought the phenomenons of Gunda Niemann Stjernemann, eight-time European champion, eight-time all-round champion, and eight-time Olympic medalist, and the king of Lillehammer, Johan Olaf Koss, skating to three Olympic golds in 1994. World Championships in Speed Skating for Single Distance for Men and Ladies started in 1996. The clap skates were tested as early as 1985, but would not find their way into competition until 1997. The skate separates at the heel when the skater extends the leg in finishing their push. This leaves the blade in contact with the ice longer, maximizing potential power. Personal records were smashed and soon, whoever did not skate on clap skates was no longer a contender. In 2006, at the Turin Games, the team pursuit for ladies and men were accepted into the Olympic program. Speed skating has a long history of technical development and individual achievement. As the sport moves into the future, Athletes continue to push the barriers of speed skating to new heights.